but this is what it looks like. This albino Oscar right here was originally one of my most favorite fish. All right, here we go. What a gorgeous, gorgeous catfish right there. You see? What is up guys, welcome back. Okay, before I start this video, I need to show you what the dogs look like right now. Are you comfortable enough? Other than that, I have something else I wanna to talk to you guys about and I wanna show you how I set this up right here. But I know what you guys clicked on this video was for the giant catfish that was supposed to be in here when you guys are watching this video, but no, we are putting him in here in just a second. I'm gonna show you guys how I set up this tank the first thing that I did, I filled it up with a whole bunch of water. Filled it up almost 70 to 80%. And then I went in my room, I got water from the 200 gallon tank, well, 180 gallon tank. And I put that inside of here to fill up the rest of it so that once I put the other filter on it, it was basically exactly what a water change would be. I went in my room and I actually got the filter and put it onto the tank. But then after I did that, I actually cleaned out the tank and it looks a lot better than it did before. And I hit all of the wires behind the aquarium right back there. I turned this filter back on, got the air pump going. You guys will see that right now. And then also, I put the air stones in it and whatever else. And now it is actually ready for the fish, but I wanna show you exactly what the tank looks like totally finished. Well, not, not quite, because I still have to do the, like, the decor and like the tunnels for the catfish, but it's basically done. That's the only thing I have to do, and also get plants. But this is what it looks like. Oh, and by the way, these guys right here, later on in the video, I'll show you guys some feeding because as you can tell, they're pretty dang aggressive. But without further ado, let's head outside, get the giant tiger shovel nose for this fish tank. I think I almost just broke it. <laughs> but let's go get the giant tiger shovel nose for this awesome fish tank. All right, so I just made it out front and I'm filling up the cooler right now to put these fish inside of there. I'm gonna put the albino Oscar, the black Oscar, and also the tiger shovel nose inside of the 75 gallon tank. Cause I don't wanna just put one Oscar. One Oscar is getting beat up in here and I just don't want it to get beat up anymore and it would be a lot better for him inside of the tank. And then once I have the other tank set up, then he'll be going inside of there. So the first fish we're gonna be grabbing is the tiger shovel nose, which is this guy right here. Oh, could have grabbed him, but the net got stuck. What are you doing? Come on. Oh, oh my gosh. Come on. He usually lets me just scoop him right out. Feisty today. Oh my gosh. He really doesn't want to come out. Oh my god. I just had him in the net two times. There you go. All right, all right, buddy. 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 Calm down. So when you're taking your catfish out of your pond, I made a big mistake. You really do not want to use a net that has mesh like this size, depending on how big your catfish is. I had to cut the net because it got stuck in his bottom fin right here. You see it right there? That's where it got stuck. And I had to cut it all out. He's gonna be just fine. Maybe minute process of cutting it out, but now I definitely need a new net. And what I should have been using was this net right here that has bigger holes so that he couldn't get his fin stuck. But now, let's catch the two Oscars out. This albino Oscar right here was originally one of my most favorite fish. My hand's wet, so it's fine to handle them. Let's put them in there easily. Now these guys are gonna get acclimated and with an aerator inside of there, so they're gonna have oxygen. Where are you? Oh my gosh. How's it even possible? 
This thing was a pain in my butt to catch. I already told him. Never mind. So now let's go inside, acclimate these guys to the 75 gallon tank. And how I'm going to be acclimating these fish right here. Can you, can you guys give me a little bit of room? You're in between my legs. But how I'm going to be acclimating these fish is I'm going to be siphoning out little by little water into this corner. Exactly like this. water for the first start of the acclimating process and by the way everyone wondering if I'm gonna have a decor in here I'm actually gonna be building little caves and stuff like I already said in the beginning but just for the people that didn't catch it you're gonna be seeing me build a little bit of decor and stuff inside of this for them all right so the fish right now are ready to go inside of the aquarium whiskey can you watch out they've probably been in here for 30 minutes there was a big temperature drop inside of this tank compared to here because all of this water for, was from inside and in the hose and then this water was in a smaller pond that's in the sun most of the day that gets really, really hot. But watch out, Whiskey, you, you can't be doing that. All right, here we go. And you wanna be fragile with this fish right here. All right, here we go. Look at him. What a gorgeous, gorgeous catfish right there. You see a little black mark right there? That was because he accidentally hit his nose inside of the fish pond that's outside. He hit it on the wood and he got it all scraped up, but now it's finally healing. And let's put the Oscars inside. Whiskey. Watch out. Here we go. Albino Oscar is in. And now we're going to do it with the normal Oscar. There he goes, he's swimming around. He'll be doing fine. I'm just gonna put the decor in here for tonight and then I'll do the cave in the morning while the fish are a little bit less stressed out. I don't wanna stress them out more than they already are. And um, we're gonna turn off this light right here. I'll take the thumbnail and everything in the morning. I just want to leave them alone and have them not mess with that all. So let's turn off the light and I'll see you guys in the morning. So me and Dad are out here in the fish tank for you. Hey. Hi. 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 What is up guys? Welcome back to the next day. And as you guys can tell, all the fish are doing perfectly fine and they are happy. The way you can tell the Oscars are happy is if they're not laying on the bottom of the tank sideways. If they're laying on the bottom of the tank sideways, then that usually means that they're not happy, they don't like the place they're staying in. But I think they remember. I really do think they remember. A lot of times people say that Oscars don't have very good memory, but I think they know that they've been in this tank before because it was exactly like this when they were in there and same with the tiger shovel nose. I just, I just feel like they remember, you know what I'm saying? But I just woke up and I hope you guys um, like the fish tank. I know for a fact a lot of you guys are probably saying that it's way too overstocked and the fish are way too big for it, but let me tell you, once again, these fish are not staying inside of this tank for very long. If two weeks, maybe three weeks, until the fish in my room get a little bit bigger, then the Oscars are going in there. I just don't want the other fish to mess with them or them to mess with the other fish because they're a little bit bigger than the peacocks and the catfish that is in there. And the tiger shovel nose is probably not staying inside of the tank for very long. He's probably going to be going inside of the big pond. If not, I'm probably going to take the red-tailed catfish out of the pond out there and put them inside of the big pond. I want him by himself because he's not aggressive at all and he just doesn't like to be near the other catfish. So you can see how much more happy he is inside of this tank than he was inside of the pond because everyone else messes with him 
like the other catfish when he goes to eat then they steal his food and he gets mad and then sometimes he can't eat but as you guys can tell the oscars look absolutely gorgeous in here look at that the albino oscar you could just see his colors and what i've always wanted to show you is you see his lip oh hey whiskey but you see his lip it's kind of messed up hold on let me let me try to get him to come to the front the black oscar is literally so cool but you see his lip it's kind of it's kind of messed up but it doesn't affect him eating or anything I just feel like it's from the other fish messing with him so much or something. I don't know, but I like it, and it's kind of weird that they're staying really, really close to each other. But, look at that. Whiskey, are you enjoying the new fish tank? Yeah, I know you probably are. But I'm gonna give these guys probably another day until they start eating. Like, the tiger shovel knows he usually eats right away when he gets inside of a tank, but I just want to leave him alone because I don't want him to get messed with or anything. And then sing with the Oscars, they'll probably eat right now if I put minnows in there or something. But I want to get them to eat tilapia because that's my main goal is to have these start eating tilapia once again. And for them to grow everything that they lost inside of the pond back. Because as you can see, if you look at the Oscars, they're pretty beat up. Not the albino one as much, but the darker one's pretty beat up because he likes to stay at the bottom of the pond and the catfish literally just mess with his fins. But look at how beautiful he is. I know he probably looks pretty messed up, but that's literally one of my favorite fish. Look at his lip. I always say that these fish are one of my favorite, but Honestly, I don't think I actually have a favorite because I love every one of my fish and it's just funny how I say that Oh, this fish is probably my favorite, but Literally, they're all my favorite Look at how look at that That thing is absolutely gorgeous you guys get what I'm saying But without further ado, let's feed the 80 gallon tank, the community tank, and then the outro. So this amount of flakes usually gets them right. Drop them in there. So I really hope you guys love this video. I really, really like making it for you guys. These fish are beautiful, and I'm so glad to have them back inside of my tank. Even though it's not overstocked because I don't have all the catfish in here like I did before, but it's perfectly fine. We got three fish in here. It's gonna do awesome. The fish are gonna love it, and they're even gonna love it more once they go in the 180 gallon. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.